Welcome back to Unscripted Fans, fans, friends of the show. It is time for some Hollywood news. Uh, what the Hollywood? So yesterday, you guys, this is kind of wild just how you realize uh, time flies so fast. Yesterday marked one whole year since the unexpected and devastating passing of friend star Matthew Perry. I still can't wrap my head around that. So uh, if you didn't know, he died last year. He died from acute effects of ketamine and his death was ruled accidental despite his doctors engaging in very shady drug business practices. So five people, including two of his doctors, were charged in his death. Three have pled guilty. One of the doctors and the quote-unquote ketamine queen have pled not guilty to his death. So the actor's stepfather and Dateline reporter Keith Morrison, his mom Suzanne Morrison, along with um, three of his sisters, sat down with Savannah Guthrie to reveal what they believe were critical factors in Matthew Perry's death. So his sister Madeline made the point that Matthew might have not even been aware that he had relapsed into his drug addiction again. He was coming off of a stretch of sobriety during and after his book tour and was, you know, taking ketamine for therapeutic purposes, or that's what we all thought and that's what he was telling people. Well, Perry then started getting ketamine on the black market and was taking massive doses on his own. And tragically, you know, this would be the drug to take his life. So uh, his addiction was something his mother was never able to help him battle. She speaks about it. But there was one glitch. There was one problem that I couldn't, I couldn't conquer it. I couldn't help him. Matthew's family is now looking to help others struggling, launching the Matthew Perry Foundation of Canada. If it doesn't stop, we're going to lose so many million people. I mean, just absolutely gut-wrenching to hear his mom still battling with her son's struggle, you know, even though it unfortunately... I mean, it ended in the worst way possible, but I love that they've now turned that darkness into light with the Matthew Perry uh, Foundation in Canada. Um, and as of this morning, I was checking all the socials to see which of his friends' co-stars had posted about it. Um, as of this morning, like I said, Jennifer Aniston and Courtney Cox were the only friends' co-stars to post tributes to Matthew Perry on the anniversary of his death. But of course, we know they all rallied around him um, during his addiction while they were filming the show, after his death, at his funeral, and so on and so forth. So, okay, I also have to talk about some other unfortunate Hollywood news. Um, the late One Direction singer Liam Payne had a, a Netflix series titled Building the Band in the Works at the Time of His Death. So as I reported last week, Liam Payne passed away on October 16th after falling from his third floor hotel room balcony while vacationing in Argentina. A partial autopsy revealed cocaine crack benzodiazepine were in his system when he died um, but Netflix is doing something very honorable they have decided to put building the band on hold a source told the U.S. Sun quote Netflix will sit down with Liam's family when the time is right to speak about the series and when it could be released there is no rush or pressure to release the series it would simply be a beautiful tribute to Liam and capture him at his best in the months before his death, which I think is very admirable. Um, Payne served as a mentor on the UK-based competition series alongside mass Singer judge Nicole Scherzinger, can't say her name, <laughs> and Destiny's Child singer Kelly Rowland. And then the Backstreet Boys' AJ McLean was the host of the show. So again, no release date yet, but like they said, it's going to be a beautiful tribute to Liam, which I'm loving. So... In addition to the Netflix series, Liam's legion of fans initiated an online campaign called Liam's Law. So this law is aimed at reinforcing safeguards for entertainers' mental health. The petition initially sought just 12,000 signatures, but now has exceeded the pivotal tally of 100,000 signatures, which is compelling politicians to potentially deliberate this uh, matter in Parliament, which would be huge, you guys. So the plea on the petition's webpage reads, quote, in 2021, Liam advocated for, for a support system to be put in place for young artists going through the industry. He spoke about his own struggles and the need for there to be care in place to safeguard artists' mental health. Again, during his lifetime, Liam was very, very vocal about 
his own struggles and how at a young age they sequestered them in hotel rooms. And what does the hotel room have? A mini bar. So that's that's where he went to kind of just calm his nerves and I guess escape reality. Um, so the petition, the petition also highlights the need for early intervention to prevent tragedies as well as the entertainment industry being held accountable for the welfare of their artists. Again, so important. And uh, you know, if this is accomplished in parliament, that's something Liam Payne is, you know, leaving the world behind with. So I just absolutely love it. Okay, we can take a nice big sigh. No more sad news. No more sad news. This is actually, you could cry, but I think they're going to be happy tears. So much needed lighter Hollywood news. Celebrities, they even have fangirl moments just like the rest of us. Just ask Adele, the singer, had a full-blown ugly cry meltdown during her residency show in Las Vegas um, last weekend. Uh, and it's not because things were going horrible, she was, being, she was not being a diva, but rather Adele had a meltdown because the one and only Celine Dion was in the audience, you guys, and the emotional moment happened while Adele was performing her song, When We Were Young, Take a Look. You guys, if your heart is not bursting and tears are not falling and maybe you have the nervous sweats, I do. Seriously, this movie, these are different angles of the same interaction. I'm just absolutely obsessed. Um, they go way back. You know, uh, Celine Dion actually had her residency. She kind of kicked it all off in Vegas at the Coliseum where Adele has been performing for the past few years. Adele then posted this beautiful picture of their interaction. I mean, just so heartwarming. And, um, you know, Adele has really looked up to Celine for, for years on end, um, actually in January 2018, Adele visited uh, Celine backstage after she performed at the Coliseum. So again, just a lovely moment. By the way, quick bites. Giselle Bundchen, Tom Brady's ex, is now pregnant with her jujitsu boyfriend's baby. That was unexpected, not on my bingo card. Um, who else? Liam Neeson and Pamela Anderson might be a couple because he admitted he's in love with Pamela Anderson. It gets crazier and um, Hugh Jackman might be in a new relationship. You guys, it's all crazy. So that's all I got for you Hollywood-wise, but uh, lot, lots of news to cover. And we've got a little sippy, sippy, drinky, drinky with Ingrid Fair after this. Don't go anywhere. Unscripted, we'll be back.